So you want to know how to level up fast in Apex Legends Season 6? Well, I got all the tips for you in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back, Warriors, to another Apex Legends video. Today, I'm going to give you all the tips to help you level up to max level or level up fast in Apex Legends Season 6. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, guys, and join the Warriors so you don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to help you improve your gameplay in Apex Legends. Now, let's get on with the tips. Now, when it comes to leveling up fast in Apex, it's actually really simple when you consider all the resources Respawn has given us. So, the way to level up in Apex, for you guys that don't know, is just gaining experience. And there's several different ways to obtain experience in Apex Legends, and each match calculates these experiences by a wide variety of different numbers. So, we're going to break down the list. Starting out first is this very, very simple, guys. It is just time survived. You get three experience points per second you survive in an Apex Legends match. Now, all you have to do is survive. This, this doesn't sound like it's a hard one to do, but for some people it is. They drop hot, they, you know, they take on unnecessary fights, but the easiest way is just to survive, play the zone, and just last as long as you possibly can, guys, and you'll get the most experience points to help you level up fast. Next, guys, is very easy. If you got friends, squad up. You play with friends, you get 5% XP bonus to time survive when you're playing with one friend, and then you get times or plus 10% XP bonus time to time survive when you're playing with two friends. So get to two of your buddies, squad up, three stack is what we call it in Apex, and get in there and play some games. All right, next is damage done. Now, for those of you who are more of a passive kind of player or kind of just rat out to the end of the game and try to get some wins with minimal damage, that's all well and good, but it's not going to help you level up fast in Apex. In Apex Legends, you get 0.25 XP per one damage point that you do in Apex Legends. Okay, so the more damage that you do, the more experience points that you're going to get. And now that the armor has been reverted back to what the way it used to be, you can get more damage than ever. And you can get those 4K badges again, guys. So get out there, engage some fights, and deal a lot of damage. Next up, guys, is getting your four first kill of the day. Each day that you log in and play Apex Legends and you get your very first kill, you get 500 XP. That's a lot of experience points when you consider how much it takes from the previous tips I've given you to level up in Apex. But as soon as you get your first kill of the day, you're going to get 500 XP points to help you level up fast. Now, speaking of kills, guys, you get a lot of XP per kill that you get in Apex, and that is 50 XP per kill that you get in the Apex games. Now, you, you may think that that's not a lot, but if you finish the game with 10 kills, that's a lot of XP to help you level up pretty quick, especially in the early levels. It doesn't take much to go through, the, through those levels, guys. Now, next up on top of that is if you kill the champion or the champion squad, okay? You get 500 XP points per kill of the champion squad. If you kill the champion, you get 500 XP. So sometimes that may be intimidating to go fight the champion squad from another game, or you may, you, you know, you know, you think you want to stay away from them, but go fight them, take them out. That's a lot of XP. That's 1500 EXP if you wipe the whole team. So go out there, face the best of the best in the Apex games and rack up that XP, guys. Next up on top of kill, since we're in that category, is becoming the kill leader. You get 50 XP if you've been the kill leader in a match at any point. That's a free 50 points. So if you drop hot, you get a couple of kills, and you become the kill leader right off the bat, that's free 50 points. Even if somebody later in the match takes away kill leader from you, that's still 50 extra XP that you didn't have when you were in the game. So make sure to get out there become a kill leader, guys. Next up on top of that is becoming the champion squad. If you're the champion squad from the last match that you played, you get 500 XP if you're the champion squad going into a match. Again, guys, that is free XP. So if you win a game and deal the most damage and become the champion squad, that's free XP that you get just for loading into the next game. Now, let's talk about the defensive side of Apex. Reviving allies. Every single time you revive an ally, you get 25 XP per revive. And on top of that, let's re talk about respawning. You get 200 XP per respawn in Apex Legends. So if your team goes down, please be a good teammate. Get their banners or, re or just revive them. But respawn them in. That is free XP that you guys can get just for being the best teammate in Apex. Now, 
last two things we're going to talk about guys is your placement finishes in apex legends if you finish in the top five you get 300 experience points so again if you can just survive in the apex games you get free xp just for becoming the top five team in apex now if you win a match you get 900 xp so top five finish on top of winning that's a lot of xp guys so get out there use these tips level up and then gain all that sweet sweet xp Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I really do hope that these tips help you level up faster in Apex Legends. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button as it really does help me out, guys. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors so you guys don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And for me, Warlug, as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.